Here's Gulliver Craig reporting from Kiev. Seen from Ukraine, it's not really a staggering allegation. The idea that Russian intelligence would be in contact with pro-Russian Ukrainian politicians is really nothing new. They tried to install Viktor Yanukovych as president back in 2004, um, if you remember. And the UK hasn't given any details about what the actual plot would entail to try to uh, get any of these people put in place as president in Kiev. And so actually on Ukrainian social media, people have uh, been kind of joking about it, uh, sort of, oh, wow, uh, what a surprise kind of thing that these people uh, turn out to be Russian agents. Uh, Somebody did say, well, perhaps it's good if this news finally um, helps the world to wake up to the way that Russia has been operating in Ukraine for years, trying to influence Ukrainian politics. But one uh, prominent Ukrainian political journalist, uh, Kristina Bedinsky, who I spoke to this morning, she said, I just simply can't take this seriously. She was really laughing about it, posting jokes on it, um, on, about it on social media. But she also said it poses a problem for the Ukrainian authorities in terms of how to react, because if they haven't been given any any concrete evidence about what exactly uh, they were plotting with Yevgeny Murayev, who's the only one of these politicians who's in Ukraine, then how can they go after him and arrest him? They could lay themselves open to more accusations of trying to stifle um, political uh, opposition. On the other hand, if they don't do anything about it and they simply don't react, then they could be accused of not taking seriously intelligence provided by an important ally and not acting against a potential plot. For the moment, uh, in terms of official reactions from Ukrainians, the only thing I've seen is from a, um, a former deputy, a former spokesman for the, um, uh, for, for, for the foreign ministry who said that this plot is ridiculous, that, uh, but he was basically arguing that whether or not these allegations are true, this could simply never happen. It would be impossible to get uh, this, uh, any of these people um, installed as president in Ukraine without an extremely bloody battle for the city of Kiev and doing it all absolutely by force.